Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be talking about something called uh, private browsing. So uh, this is a feature that's built into uh, many of the browsers today. Um, the main browsers I'm going to be talking about is Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox 4, and uh, Internet Explorer 9, but also this should work for Internet Explorer 8, Firefox 3, and Chrome previous versions. I think Chrome always had this feature. But uh, all three of them go about doing it different, but they all work the same. So um, basically what uh, private browsing does is that uh, it prevents the browser from storing data about the browsing session. So nothing saved, no cookies are saved on your computer, no temporary files are saved, no history uh, or other data, passwords and whatnot. And so uh, this is good for if you're out on a public um, domain or public computers and uh, you're, you're checking your stuff, um, you're going online, you're logging in, you're putting down your information, um, and you leave, well, your information might still be stored on that computer. The next person could come in and uh, retrieve that data, and then you've got your information is gone, or your information is stolen, and whatnot. Um, so to prevent that, before you start doing all that stuff, what you can do is actually go into something called private browsing. Right, so I already have it running here on the Internet Explorer. Um, I'll show you how to get to Firefox, but basically, um, in Internet Explorer, I'll close this and start it back up again. Internet Explorer, this is the normal Internet Explorer, and to go to private browsing, you just go to Tools and you go to In Private Browsing, or the uh, keyboard shortcut, which is a lot easier, is Control Shift P, and that starts up private browsing. Uh, it opens up a new window for Internet Explorer and then so you can start uh, browsing right so uh, that's how you do it in uh, Internet Explorer and let's see let's go on to uh, Firefox for Firefox it's under tools you go to start private browsing control shift P um, I think that was the same as Internet Explorer right so uh, you click on that it says uh, Firefox will save your ta uh, current tabs when you're done with private browsing session, so if there's you are already browsing, it'll save your uh, your session here because what it's going to do is instead of opening up a new browser, it's going to switch uh, over into private browsing. So now um, everything that you do is under private browsing, as indicated by this little mask right here, right? So you're private browsing, and then um, to get back to your normal regular browsing just control shift P again or uh, stop private browsing and it goes back and whatever windows you had open it will go back to that right so and uh, in Chrome Chrome doesn't call it private browsing they call it incognito mode so uh, you can do uh, control shift N it's different from uh, control shift P Chrome they've always got to be different Right, so uh, I'm already in incognito mode, so I'm going to go into Control Shift uh, N again, or you can go to the little wrench here and hit New Incognito Mode or Window. Right, so um, all of your tabs. Oh, and that's another thing on those other browsers, all of your tabs will be saved. Right, so you'll still have access to your to your uh, tabs and stuff like that, but when you click on let's say uh, Gmail or Facebook uh, you have to log in because it doesn't have any of that saved information from your original browsing stuff right so um, other than that that's pretty much it oh one last disclaimer is that this doesn't protect you from getting fished or getting your information stolen uh, or getting viruses you're still susceptible to all that when you go to the websites that might have malicious uh, malware or malicious code or anything like that you could still get infected on your computer you could still get viruses you could still uh, people could still get information from you you could be on a bad site enter in your information and they steal your information private browsing doesn't save all I mean doesn't keep you safe from all that you you're still sub susceptible to uh, all of that so um, make sure you practice safe browsing this is also another way if uh, you don't want uh, people in your household to know what kind of uh, 
uh, websites you might be going to because none of that information is safe. Just throwing that out there, all right? Just throwing it out there for all you, um, for all the people who uh, visit certain sites, right? This is a way to not get tracked. Okay, with that said, thank you for watching. Good night. Johnny the Geek out. Peace!